Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May 9th of 2023. Well, it is titled Shadows of Earth. So what do we see here? Well, see, here we see an image of the moon off in the distance. And right behind us would be the sun. So the sun here would just be setting while the moon is just rising. And in this image, we see two shadows of Earth. Now, how do we see two shadows of Earth at once? Well, let's take a look and label a couple of things on this for you. And we see that the top half of the sky, which is pink, is what is what is getting directly illuminated by the sun. Down below that line, we see Earth's shadow. So now the shadow is coming in there. And that is no longer directly illuminated by the sun. Now, if you look at in between those, that purple region is actually called the belt of Venus. Now, that does not mean Venus is located there. Venus is actually would be on the other side, closer to the sun, because Venus always has to be near the sun in the sky and can never be opposite to the sun in the sky. So that is one of Earth's shadow. And we can see the shadow as it's coming up there. As the sun sets down around the previous horizon, the shadow will rise up and the rest of the sky will slowly get darker and darker over time. However, if you look at the moon as well, you can see a second shadow. First of all, you see the moon and the moon is discolored because of the light going through Earth's atmosphere. But we also see a partial lunar eclipse occurring. And that we can see on the lower left portion of the moon's surface, where it's a little bit darker. That is also Earth's shadow there. Now, if you wonder why the two shadows don't line up, why is the moon not up at the Earth's shadow line that is given there? Don't forget that the Earth is a lot closer. Earth's atmosphere is many, many times closer than the moon, which is further off in the distance. And the shadow will project out in a cone shape as you go further away from Earth. So it would get smaller and smaller. So by the time we get to the moon, it's at a slightly different positioning than we see here on Earth. So here we can see that during the lunar eclipse and this image was taken in July of 2018 to be able to get both of these shadows at the same time. And that is the Earth's shadow on the atmosphere of Earth as well as Earth's shadow on the distant moon during an eclipse. So that was our picture of the day for May 9th of 2023. It was titled Shadows of Earth. We'll be back again next time for the next picture, previewed to be Desert Galaxy. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.